So here's the challenge, okay? So I'm gonna uh, lay out the channel for everyone, the, the challenge for everyone. So basically the channel was, and I'm gonna choose a different plate. It's basically this deconstructing, uh, deconstructing this tool that I have. So this is basically the uh, green screen, okay? Just gonna put this to two so we run a little bit faster. And then the uh, intention is to basically do a normal disk fill. And now, now from this solution, you can pick any target color that you want and you can pick any color in your foreground to mimic that color of your disk fill, okay? Without affecting the background unless in the areas that are being affected by the spill, okay? So you can pick any color and all of that will follow that in the same way, okay? So this is the first part of the challenge. The other part of the challenge is what I call the edge auto target, which will basically give you automatic colors that are close to the edge where it matters. So basically you will have an uh, easier time to get your uh, correct uh, or closer to the correct uh, color uh, of your edge so it can be cut by your alpha. Okay, so that's the challenge and this is effectively what we are trying to do is deconstructing this tool in here. So what Chris did, he also did a, new, uh, a tool of his own. <laughs> so um, let's explore, uh oh, what's going on? This was working before, I promise. <laughs> Uh, right, Chris? <laughs> this is your tool. <laughs> right? Quality. Quality. Okay, uh, so. is, it, is it picking up the format? Yeah, for some reason it's putting the format uh, one yeah, by one. I, I, I have like a format that is a one by one pixel just so that you can re reformat. That's you fine. Know, it's anything. working now. It's working. I just changed it there. Okay. All right. So basically, I'm going to put that to actual the actual uh, plate that uh, I've used in the beginning. Okay. So basically, it does the same thing. So you can pick a uh, pick a color of um, of your background. So you do the dispute, the normal dispute. Okay. And then you can choose your target color like this. Okay. So we can explore how we did it. All right. So Chris, correct me and feel free to, 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 to talk on top of me, all right? Sure, sure, sure. All right. So this is the group un, um, unwrap, basically, what uh, Chris has in this in his um, group. Basically starts with a key light and is using, I'm going to use the same, same plate. Okay, so he's using the key light to do the, the spill uh, and to be pre-molded already, so it will be set to the final result, okay? And then he will choose the constant color that he wants to basically put the background or the dispute um, color with, right? And then he puts one over the other. So very simple, again, we have this problem, so I need to change this to root format, okay? That's Still fine. Bad now. <laughs> I, I knocked it together too fast. No, but this was working when I first opened this because I opened this in a different <laughs> laptop and it, it, it was working. So um, I'm sure it, it's fine. Uh, for some reason in this yeah, session. Yeah, but I, I, you got to build it to fit every situation. It's all good. It's, it's all good. It's easy to change. Things okay? to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now you can change this and this will change your background color. Although, if you don't mind, Chris, we I spotted a few a few things that uh, can be problematic, but we're gonna go into that in just a second, go okay? Um, <laughs> and then for the other part of the solution, Chris used basically an edge extend, which uh, we, it's just it's a, a group that uh, Chris created, but it's all Nuke native nodes as it was laid out uh, as part of the rules, so you cannot use anything that it's not a group that we cannot open. So in this case, it's fine. And then you're gonna put the actually the same pre-molded result from the key light on top of that, okay? So we are gonna have this. And either you choose one or the other, and I believe that's the control that you're gonna have in here, correct? Yeah, yeah. that's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah there you go, <laughs> cool. So here's the problem that I spotted, Chris. Okay. Which is, okay. when you select certain colors, like for example this, oops, you're going to have this edge, okay? And the reason is, I believe, it's because you are um, using the pre molded result already from the key light directly on top of something else, which in this case is going to be the color that you're going to choose, okay? And also by doing this, you're not affecting effectively the luminous, you're just putting the already luminous extracted from the key light on top of some, a certain color. So this will give you some problems on edges sometimes like this, okay? Yeah. In 
my solution, we don't have this problem because I'm gonna I'm doing things a little bit differently. And this, I think, it's all um, what this channel is all about: is share different uh, techniques. So if I choose this, you see that I don't have any edge problem in here. Okay, with the, with the same color. Uh, so the way that I did it, I'm gonna do it from scratch. Maybe it's easier to follow. Okay, so. Uh, so here's our plate. I normally do, and I think I already uh, mentioned this here. I normally do my uh, dispel in a very simple way. So key light to start with, and then we're gonna minus the result of the key light with our plate. So we have the dispel map, okay? And this will, oops, this will be our dispel map here. Come on, don't crash. Okay, there you go. So this is our spill map. So this will highlight, for those of you that don't know this technique, this will highlight where the actual spill ha is happening, if also happens in the characters. For example, this lamp here is getting some spill contamination from the screen, okay? So this will be what we can call the spill map. And now we can transform this, this uh, spill map into a luminous by just taking out the saturation, a luminous pass, that we can then merge this on top of our key line. Do, do you max it or do you, do you just do the average with the, the luminance? I plus it. You plus it, okay, right, uh, you yeah. mean You mean the saturation? Yeah, the saturation, because like I always, I, 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 I fight with myself about that is to do like, uh, use the max or do the average, so. You'll curious. see that if you, if you choose different um, math uh, operations, the results will be slightly different, but this will be the one that is gonna be more accurate to the rebuild of your plate. Although sometimes I end up using others because it's working more for me in certain situations. So that's why in my tool, I have this available uh, to me, this choice. I can choose different math, uh, but it's basically the same operation. The operation goes in the same way. So I'll put these two plus, okay? And now I have this with the same luminous as my original one, except I don't have any uh, greens in my foreground here. And now what I wanna change, it's actually at this level. I wanna change things at this level. I want to change this color to the color that I want. This is exactly what I'm tweaking, which is something that different than what you're going to do, than what you did in your solution, Chris. And yep. this works better because basically, you, you, whatever you're taking out from this operation, you're putting this back in. So you not, never lose detail and you don't have problems with the edges because this result will going to be added plus together on with this one here. So it, you, you're not living with this one by itself. So the edges that you're going to have here, are not going to be shown because you're adding your luminous back on top of the plate. So you're going to have this color on top and, you, and you, as you can see, you don't see any edges with this color. So the trick is to do the change of color at this level. And a way you can do it is you, again, with the constant, with the same constant, let me just put the same format as this one, which will be, I believe, um, this is set to, it's a 4K. I don't know why I choose a 4K one, but anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what you want to do okay. at this level <laughs> is to mimic exactly the same color that you picked from your screen on your key light in here. So you're going to pick this same color. So you're going to link this color here. Okay, it's the same thing. And now you're going to take the, the color in the same way. Okay, so same thing. So this color is the same as this, except it lives by itself, right? And now you're going to open a new constant. Actually, I'm going to copy the same one because it has already the format that I want. Yeah. And then you're going to pick a color that you want. Say, for example, somewhere around this face here, this one. Now you're going to do a simple operation, which is going to be a divide uh, multiply. I believe that's exactly what I'm using here. Exactly, divide multiply. So you're going to divide this color by the one that you chose, okay? Which will give you this result, okay? You'll see that if the pipes are not correctly um, um, uh, with the right order, you'll see that the result is not going to be the same because at this level, you don't know which one is, is the correct one unless you plug the inverse operation with uh, for the divide, which is a multiply. That's only when you can see. And now you're going to put this one multiplied back here. And now you have that color. You, I can see that it's a wrong color because this is inverted. So now it's the correct one. Okay, so now you can plus it together and now you have it. You don't have any edge problems. So if I pick this color again, oops, you see that I don't have those edges because I'm changing things at the luminous level, which is the level that it's much safer to 
uh, I wouldn't say necessarily, well, I'm going to say the correct part in which you want to you wanna change the color of your uh, the spill uh, because you don't want to mess with these guys, okay? You want to leave this intact. You want to mess with the luminous in terms of values. So, for example, if I don't have that operation there and if I want to change this color, I should change this color here. So if I want to put this a bit more green or a bit more red or whatever, I do it here at luminance level. And in this time, in this method, I won't have any edge problems. So that, this is exactly what I want to do, except I want to do this automatically. And to do this automatically, I do a divide multiply operation like this. Okay, so now I can choose any color and this will change to any color I want. Okay, that's exactly how it's done. Cool. So yep. the second part is, I'm uh, just gonna steal this because it's already done and we don't lose any more time. So the, the other part is to basically do something similar to what you did, although not as uh, convoluted in terms of like all the detail and all that stuff with uh, to grow edges, yeah. but it's gonna be basically the same thing. Uh, as in, I'm gonna take the pre the result of my key light and I'm gonna basically because I, I don't like to live with the with the pre mod uh, pre result like that, so I always use a copy version of that alpha, so I can extract the uh, the actual color that I want. So now I'm gonna do this on purpose in this case, because now I'm gonna grow with just a blur and pre mod, and then I can blur it as much as I want in here. This result actually there's um, in this one normally what I do in here there's a relationship between these two blurs because if I grow this one here oh, this is linked to an op that doesn't exist anymore oh come on nice growing okay so this result in here will be this and this one will be a blurred version which is a percentage of this blurring in here which in this case I think I set this to uh, divided by 2.5 so it will give me just the color information. I don't care so much about the detail, I care more about the color information, which is in the same way that I did it in this area here. I don't care so much about the detail, I care more about the color, okay? So if I don't have this blur in here, the result will be slightly different, as you can see. It will have more detail, but I want to blur all the edges because I just want the color more than anything else. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So in this case, I'm not, I'm not going to merge this with a color. I'm going to merge this with merge divide. I'm going to merge this divide with this, with this guy. And now I'm going to have this result. So it's all about color for me. I don't care so much about the detail. And normally, if I use this tool to do the, uh, the spill on the edges, I use this very close to the edge because I just need a little bit. You know, if I have a good alpha, I just need a little bit. I just need this color to be very similar to where it matters in this, for example, in this like little hair in here, the surrounding colors, I just need to be, you know, a little bit bigger than what they, they were originally. So I can get this transition in a better way. So probably this will be how much I would grow. I wouldn't grow more than this, but my edges will be intact because they come from here. They will be intact. I'm just messing with the luminous in multiple ways, either this way in which I'm growing the, the actual um, edge or in a color that I'm going to pick from any part of my script. And this way I won't have problems with edges because again, I'm messing with the luminous and not with a pre motor result coming from directly from the key light to be um, added on top of anything else.